So hello guys, good morning, this is Nick. So today we're going to have a quick review of the IDF M1 Super Sherman. So this kit was uh, bought uh, three months ago from uh, Brickyard. So this is the uh, Israeli Defense Forces version of the Sherman, or the post-war Sherman. As you can see, this is uh, simple. Okay. So this was released in 2011, made by Tamiya, and this is a the World War II Sherman with a 76mm gun, and we'll have to show the camouflage, this is the this is for olive drum. And we have the light sand. This is the uh, ima the real image from the Armored Core Memorial Site Latron. Okay. So contents of this kit: uh, cast and also six millimeter with muzzle brake to accurately produce realistic VVSS suspension, T53E1 track, commander loader figures, plus three tips markings included. So let's open up, see what's inside. So what we have is yeah, the typical Sherman that we uh, used to be have the World War II Sherman. So uh, the packaging is nice, I like it. So what we got here is we got here is the traditional Tamiya tips. That one. We have the rubber tracks. So rubber tracks is uh, nice. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's fine. I like it. Nice in texture. So the pin ejector is not visible. There is. There it, it can be seen. Uh, underneath on it. So we have a total of uh, four screws. We have the uh, decals. So the decals are in the Israeli Defense Forces version or the IDF. We got also the uh, Background information for this Sherman tank or the M1 ship Super Sherman. So this was written in uh, English as well and Japanese. Then we have the uh, nice instruction sheet. This is a uh, basic kit. It's uh, very straightforward, as you can see. So we'll show the. Steps to assemble. So, from uh, I chose from the hull overhaul assembly suspension, wheel, tatting suspension, and the upper hull. And they attach the upper hull and uh, attaching the mini parts on the upper hull. Then we will have to go to the turret, gun, and the couple of RG machine gun. Then the figures, then we go to the uh, markings. So for the markings, we have three figures, Armour Brigade, Sinai Peninsula, 1956, that one.
Mm, Armor Brigade China Peninsula 1956 um, and the one that displayed in Latrin. The painting guy, let's look for the soldier. Except 59 Desert Yellow. So we will have to look for Desert Yellow. So we will have to bought paints as well. So I'm gonna show you a uh, spoiler for uh, the successor of this uh, M1 Super Sherman. I will show this one. The M51 Super Sherman, which is a uh, different uh, Sherman with a 105mm gun, which is more powerful. So that would, this would be shown in later. Okay, so let's focus on the uh, hull. So this is the upper hull. So as you can see, the upper hull is nice. Uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to build it as of the moment because we will have to purchase the paints as well. And you can see the lower hull, it's a bathtub hull. So far this so far this a plastic what I observe is there's no flash or uh, sink marks in this one. Then we will have to go to the uh, 50 cal machine gun. 50 cal is nice, I like it. Then we go to the uh, sorry. Then we will have to go to the sprue K. For the sprue K, we have the rear part and accessories, engine part, rear and side skirts. It's nice. It's, the plastic is nice, so we will have to put it back. Then we'll have to we have the sprue J. Spoogie is nice, it's very crisp. Some is molding is very nice and it's uh, very easy. So the turret, yeah, it's uh, carefully uh, detailed. It's also the serial number. It's like the real. I have to put it back. And then we have the Spoogie. And sprue A. So for the sprue A, we have the road wheels, suspension, the VVSS, and the sprue B, we have the headlights, the crew, and the uh, rear part as well, and the lower hull, as you can see. So this was a 2011 release, so I, I, as I see the kit, it's very nice, uh, still uh, worth it to buy. So this is a very nice kit to build in the future. So that's it for today, and uh, thank you for more videos, and again my name is Nix, enjoy the rest of your day.